What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, uh, we all remember back in late 2019, the movie Joker premiered, and it was a much anticipated movie. And um, it starred Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck, who would eventually become, as he succumbed more and more to his mental illness, he would become. Joker, who of course is, if not one of the most famous villains, or the most famous villain in comic book history, or oh, in just hist cinematic history in general, uh, cinematic, comic book, whatever. Well, anyway... The movie was very successful, both from a critical and commercial standpoint. The critics loved it. It won Oscars. Joaquin won, an, I think, a Best Actor Award. Uh, it did well in other uh, award shows as well. SAG, I think, is another one. And there's some other ones as well. Uh, not Emmys, because Emmys is television. But um, anyway, it was also successful from a commercial standpoint against a budget of approximately 60 million dollars the movie grossed over 1 billion dollars worldwide this was just before the outbreak of COVID-19 well a sequel will come out in two more years it's slated to come out right now in October 2024, and I believe it's called uh, Joker Folly Avec Dua, or something like that. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Let me see if I, if I pronounced it correctly. Yeah, Joker Folly Adwa. This Joker Folly Adwa. And I looked up what folly adwa means, and basically, uh, it's, I believe it's French, and basically it's two mental, uh, two mental health disorders, or two mental health cases in close association with one another, right? So, when you think about that, who is the closest associate of, of Joker who also has mental health problems? And that would be none other than Harley Quinn. So it's been confirmed that Harley Quinn will be in this movie, uh, but, but, but she will be portrayed by someone different. You know, in the last couple incarnations, she'd been portrayed by, uh, what is it, Margot Robbie. I think that's her name, right? Uh... I hope I pronounce it like people names correctly. But anyway, in this movie, she'll be portrayed by Lady Gaga, all right? And uh, this picture you're seeing is the first screenshot from the principal filming which just started. And this shows Joaquin Phoenix being shaved, uh, I'm assuming, at the asylum Arkham Asylum that he is being held. So when we look at the comic books, you know, generally generally speaking, what happened is, the storyline is that Joker pretty much seduces Harley Quinn. Uh, she, she starts off as I believe she's a mental health professional. She talks to the Joker. But he plays mind games with her. Begins to realize that she has issues her, of her own and she falls in love with Joker. And she also, in some ways, descends into her own madness. To the point where, you know, Joker fully controlled her at the end and had so much influence over her that she succumbed to her own wildest uh, mental uh, delusions and whatnot. So... I'm guessing that's going to be in the movie. We don't know. But uh, I'm assuming from this movie that Arthur Fleck is way gone now. He, he's gone. 
he's going to be full Joker, just about, you know. Um, the only problem I have with Joaquin's Joker is that this Joker isn't, his skin is not chemically damaged to be white. You know, he seems to still have normal skin and that he paints his face white. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of a little, I'm, I'm just used to the typical backstory where Joker falls into a bag of chemicals and it fucks with his head a little bit. You know, the chemicals don't help in addition to the psychological trauma that he uh, undergoes that particular day. Uh, his wife and child dying, you know, then all of this stuff happening on top of the other stress that he had, and it caused him to just completely break mentally. But anyway, just want to share this with y'all. Tell me what you guys think.